but just I'm just thinking today about all the all the queers that have have fought for where we are today. Um, that we we are living in a society that the queers today are more privileged than the queers of um, of our former generations. Um, like gay marriage went through. I, I have legal protection in, in the state of Washington for being trans. My union backs me. Um, I was able to get on T in a month. Um, I was able to even get on T. Uh, I have people that are like loving and supporting me, which is awesome. Um, it's just not enough for me. It really isn't enough. I don't think it'll be enough until we are like seen as equal and we're, we're treated as equal. Um, and sometimes this discrimination could kind of come in like subtle ways. Like people acting like they love you, but then they really just like they think of you as lesser than them or not equal. And that's not cool either, you know. Um, that's not equality. It, it was just interesting this this last couple of weeks, just um, hanging out around town with Amy, just whether it be like at like Joanne's or Broad Sales or just people interacting with us and seeing us as a straight couple. And <laughs> there's a, a lot less um, uncomfortableness with people um, than towards us. I'm definitely comfortable too, <laughs> but. Um, Like, that bothers me, you know. Um, I think this is that's definitely going to be a subject that I'm going to be talking a lot about on my on my YouTube. Probably be um, how different it is to be seen as a straight couple versus um, being seen as like a lesbian couple. And um, but I feel like it's just this has just happened like last couple weeks to a month, so I don't want to talk too much of it. Definitely, it's definitely different, and it's 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 not fair. It's definitely not fair. Some people, some people are like, well, when they know I'm trans, they just like walk on eggshells around me. Um, like they're afraid that they're going to offend me or. No, that's kind of weird also. Like, just treat me like a human being, you know? Um, um, I, don't, I don't know if you if you heard, you know, people say about, I think it was like, was it Harvey Milk? Who said, like, whoever you are, like, come out so that um, we can realize that, that um, like, like, us queers are normal. You can't like normalize gay and trans and all of that if we're like in the closet, you know. So here I am as a mental health professional coming out and uh, it's a bit of my story. It's it's not easy because there's there's stigma in the mental health profession. Uh, but all, all my all my um, coworkers, my boss, they're all they're all accepting. And they're aware of it. I mean, it's Seattle, and they also are educated people, um, with bachelors or masters or whatever each of them has. Um, but we are still in, a, in an era that's 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 getting past um, the diagnosis. Um, I was actually not diagnosed as like anything. I went to my therapist, and she says, you tell me who you are. I'm not going to tell you who you are. Um, you say you're a guy. You don't have to prove yourself to me. Um, 
she's like, I am not going to diagnose you as anything because there's nothing wrong with you. Um, and then I, uh, she gave me an informed consent form, which is like me signing over that I actually know what I'm getting myself into. Um, I feel a little bit better now having talked to you, whoever's watching me, and like the camera, or just like myself, or like whatever. Um, YouTubing is very therapeutic. <sighs> um, I think the conclusions I've come to is this is not an easy path. Um, it's like, almost like I'm treading a ground that hasn't been treaded very much. Um, I think it was Emmett did a video um, today about how I may mean, think it was Emmett. I heard somebody say about how even though transgender and people have come before us and have tread a path for us, we're, we are still like figuring out a lot of this. Um, even us, like new guys that have only been on T for like five, six months or so, um, we're, we're still um, putting up signs and helping other guys out come along and defining what it means to be transgender figuring all this out, it's, it's all very, it's, it's, it's more new than we even think it is, you know. Um, so I think there's, there's, it's not going to be any easy way what I'm doing, I just, I don't know, get through one day at a time. Um, thanks for listening, and overall I am more happier, this is just, um, you know, there's there's bumps in the road like this, and sometimes there's the bumps. There's a lot of them, but I'm more comfortable in my body. I'm happier, and um, I guess maybe I should discuss why I don't want it to be stealth. Although that that it's very um, appealing, the idea of going stealth. Um, I'm very bonded with my my position. I uh, I'm bonded to the population. Not to mention, um, I'm getting a, like a higher pay rate there than like other jobs in the Seattle area that are at bachelor's level. Um, good benefits. Um, it's just. Um, like my job, but if it, if it comes down to it and I have to go um, work someplace else, and I guess I'll have to face that when it comes, but it's for right now, I really think that I'm just supposed to, to stay here where I'm at, and uh, I don't know, choose the road less traveled, I guess. But when it gets when some when some days when it's really tough, I just tell myself, um, I just get through the first year, and then if you want to go work someplace else, someplace else, and be stealth, and that's your choice. Anyways, that's all I have to say for now, guys.